Okay, so we are trying out the trial of autopilot, and this is a tricky stop sign. Oncoming traffic does not stop here. So that was a little bit tricky, but it did it. I have to say this version, what is it, version 12, I guess? I don't keep up with all the new stuff and all the, the terms. I think it's version 12 of full self-driving. I think I said autopilot before, but it's full self-driving, the free trial. We're testing out the free trial that Tesla has offered and I, I loaded it up. It's going. It's navigating to my house. Um, it's coming from the gym. It's dark out. These are back roads in Simsbury, Connecticut. Real New Englandy. You know, it, it is a double line road, but could be single line back roads. Nothing close to a highway. And I was a huge skeptic of autopilot because I got one. I got a loaner and I used full self driving once with a loaner and I used one which was actually worse I did a Model S test drive while I was waiting um, for a, a car one time and I, I drove a, this white Model S long range at the Tesla I guess you call it a dealer um, my got full self-driving that version whatever it was unusable scary I mean it would this one's a little tricky okay so this is yeah, look, it, it does such a good job. This is this is the most complex intersection right here. We've got people coming this way. It sees these. There's people coming this way. And I'm gonna be going left up here. So it's gonna edge out, it's stopped. It It's very good. And the cool thing about this self-driving is it's tricky right here. It seamless. Look, look at the way it accelerated. I mean, it goes, I don't want to say it's a lead foot, but it gets going. I mean, it's it, it drives basically like how I drive. It's, it's super cool. It feels much more human-like than the last version. Very safe. And one thing I did notice, when it's at a tricky intersection, an intersection where it can't quite see, even if it's not a completely blind turn, but if it can't quite see one way or the other, it inches forward and inches forward and inches forward. What you can do is just coax it out with the gas pedal. If you're at a, if you're at an intersection and it's not going, you just give a little gas and it'll go forward. You're gonna override the full self-driving portion of it. Um, but yeah, the, the the automatic speed, which I don't know if this is new for version 12, but here we go. Tra trash truck, little tricky trash truck on a merge. And look, it just it knows to just go buy it. I mean, that's pretty freaking cool. It sees the uh, the lane merging signs in the road, painting in the road. I haven't touched the wheel other than to keep the thing happy. Um, and it's actually letting me film while I'm driving too. But it is really, one thing it is touchy about is if you're texting and driving on full self-driving, it'll, it'll yell at you and it'll put you in jail. Um, the way, obvious way around that is with sunglasses, but um, you really shouldn't be texting and driving. So here we are transitioning into Bloomfield. This is, holy shit, I have to get the drone out. The sun, the sunrise is like nuts this morning. Um, this is a, this is a tricky corner right here. This is not like an easy corner and we're going 41. I think the speed limit, it says 40, but I think the speed limit three was 25. And then we're gonna come back up to 40. There's a crazy sunrise going on over there, by the way. I'm gonna get the drone out and I'm gonna fly it here in a second. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a stop. I can't let that go. Holy Christ. That's a wild sunrise, dude. Um, anyways, the verdict is I was a huge skeptic of this autopilot shenanigans. And whatever Elon did and his and his boys over there at Tesla really uh, Guys, this is nuts, this sunrise, holy Christ. Um, they really hit it out of the park. 12,000 bucks, not gonna happen. I can't buy that. I mean, that's that's more than some people pay for cars. A lot of people pay for cars. So um, yeah, that's not gonna happen, but hey. I think uh, if you have the money to blow, it's definitely worth it, because it does work, unlike the other versions. Um, I'm fully addicted to it at this point, but unfortunately, like I said, I mean, I can't afford the 12 grand. I do not know if it transfers vehicles. If it transfers to your new vehicle, that would be interesting. I don't think that it does. 
it would be more worth it to me to just pay the couple hundred bucks a month when I, you know, if I'm going to be using, you know, autopilot with full self-driving for a road trip or something like that. I mean, the, the couple hundred bucks a month seems worth it rather than spending $12,000. Unless you got 12 G's invested and you have full self-driving for life, I don't really see it. I don't see how that's worth it. Now, again, I haven't touched the wheel, boys. I haven't touched the wheel other than to keep this thing happy. Like, Rick, right now, just hit the volume up button. Um, keep it happy. And she is driving. She's doing great. Really, really addicting. It's, it's a really, really pleasant experience with this new version. And to think that it's going to continue to get better, um, I don't know. Really, really cool. Full self-driving. I'm a fan. If you've got the cash, spend it. Definitely check it out. If you have a Tesla, here we go. It's going to see this yellow light. If you have a Tesla, um, that was a little late. I'll be honest, a little late. It wasn't dangerous, but definitely a little late in the brakes. A couple kinks to, to iron out. But, I mean, I'm telling you, it does not feel dangerous like the other version did. Um, if you have a Tesla and you have access to this trial, definitely check this out really really cool i am hoping that they do some sort of deal or i mean a two thousand bucks like the acceleration boost i'm in two thousand bucks for full self-driving i'm totally in twelve thousand uh cost prohibitive doesn't make sense that's like that's like 20 percent of the cost of the vehicle that doesn't make any sense for software so um yeah just my opinion i'm gonna put the drone in the air and try to get this catch this sunrise and um, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried it. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you've had some bad experiences. I'm sure there are some out there. This is basically a right angle turn we're gonna take here. It's going 35 miles an hour and a 25 takes it, no problem. And uh, that's gonna be it, later.